In this video, we're going to look at how to find fractions of shapes. So here's a question taken from a SATS test. It's asking you to take two shapes that have got three quarters shaded. The first thing I would do is find out what fraction of each shape is shaded and then find out if any of them are equivalent to three quarters. So if we look at the first shape, it has a denominator of eight. That's because the shape is split into eight equal pieces. To find the numerator, we would then find out how many have been coloured in. So in this shape, it is 6. This makes the fraction 6 eighths. If we then repeat this for all of the shapes, you'll find that on the top right, we have got 3 sixths, because the shape is split into 6 pieces with 3 coloured in. The bottom left is 7 ninths, and the bottom right is 12 sixteenths. But we haven't finished there, because the question asks us to tick two shapes that have got three quarters shaded. Now although none of them look like three quarters, what we have to do is we have to find if any are equivalent to three quarters. Now the top bright one straight away we can get rid of, because we can see that three sixths is equivalent to a half, because the numerator is exactly half of the denominator. I would therefore get rid of this fraction. I would then write out all of my equivalents of 3 quarters. So 3 quarters, 6 eighths, 9 twelfths and 12 sixteenths. We can now see that we have got two fractions that are both equivalent to 3 quarters. 6 eighths and 12 sixteenths. These two are our answer. OK, now we're going to move on to a question where we have got two parts. The first part is asking us to find any shaded shape which is exactly one half. And the second is asking to find any of the shapes that is exactly one third. Like with the last question, I would begin by writing out what fractions of the shapes we've got shaded, like I've now done for the shapes above. As you can see, only one of those shapes is exactly equivalent to one half, which is three sixths, and again we know that because the numerator is exactly half of the denominator, so I would write C in my answer. For the second part, I'm now going to write out all the equivalent fractions of one third. Now I have done this, I can go back up to the fractions at the top, which I've written out, and I can see that shape B is the only shape up there that has an equivalent fraction of one third, which is three ninths. Okay, finally moving on to our last kind of question. This question is asking us to shade in more triangles on the shape so that we end up with a shape that is equivalent to one third. I would begin this question by finding out what fraction of the shape is already shaded. I would do this by counting how many triangles there are all together to find our denominator and I would then know that we would have two on our numerator because two of those is already shaded. Okay, so here I've written out my denominator of 12. I haven't written out my numerator of 2 because that's not quite the finished question yet. I now need to figure out how I find out what is equivalent to one third. I would do this by identifying what I've multiplied 3 by to get to 12, which is 4. I then remember that whatever I do to my denominator, I must do to my numerator, so therefore I must multiply my numerator by 4 too. This would give me a numerator of 4, as 1 multiplied by 4 is 4. So I therefore know that I must have 4 triangles in my shape shaded, but I must remember not to shade in four triangles because there are already two done for me in the question so therefore all I have to do is shade in two more. And finally the last question in this video is looking at how to shade in shapes so that they are equivalent to three quarters. First of all I would find out my denominator for each question by counting how many shapes each one is split into. The first one is four, the second one is twelve and the third one is eighths. I would then write out my equivalent of three quarters. The first one is nice and easy. Three quarters is straightforward, three over four. I would then double both my numerator and my denominator, which would give me a denominator of eight and a numerator of six, 
which is my third shape. And then finally, if I multiplied my 3 quarters by 3, I would get a denominator of 12 and a numerator of 9, like in the second shape. And there you have it, finding fractions of shaded shapes.